And in a James Bond movie, the unexpected is just what everyone expects. Ingenious gadgets, intricate getaways, and of course, incredible gals. And it all adds up to the latest in the 007 series, License to Kill is its name. And for the second time, Timothy Dalton is Bond, the legendary British Secret Service agent, always on top of things. And he is here. literally on top of things and he's joining us this morning nice to have you here thank you uh, you take a little license with license in this it's l-i-c-e-n-c-e -E -E. Uh, yeah. well that's the british spelling it is yeah yeah well, the american audiences all look at that and say oh but they know what it means oh, they, they okay, know all what right, it means. all right well they look at bond and say he can do anything but can spell that's <laughs> but it is the british spelling of license it is, yeah. those stunts i when i saw the movie i mean i'm always amazed at at what you guys do in those movies how much of that I know it's the old question, but how much of that is you and how much of that? Well, quite a lot of it's me. Um, I've always felt right from when I took over in the living daylights that the audience must be able to identify with Bond. So I've always made a point of getting involved in everything. Uh, that little clip you've just seen, um, I did get out of the aeroplane on the wire. Mm. And, th and when it actually hooks the, I think it's a Cessna plane, helicopter, that's, mm. is that actually a helicopter in a plane or those Oh, models? it was done for real. I mean, that, that wide shot Terrific. of David happening was done for real. Terrific yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And you had, I understand, a close call in a stunt this time. Is that right? I don't think so. I heard that you'd grabbed onto something and your watch oh, caught on a... Uh... Well, I, I cut my finger once, but that wasn't doing a stunt. That was in the studio. The stunts are safe. I mean, we've got a terrific team of stunt men, terrific team of special effects people, and they make sure everything's safe because it's only a movie. Mm -hmm. It's when you're doing something very ordinary and very simple and quite controlled that you have accidents. Yeah, I just... Coming over a conveyor belt, I caught my finger. Yeah, well, where else would you do? Coming over a conveyor belt, over an airplane, <laughs> or what, whatever. Is there, for a while, Bond seemed to be getting to be a caricature, maybe a little bit of a cartoonist. Is he back to more of a... I felt he was more of a regular... <clears throat> well, I'd like to think so. It's certainly been everything I've aimed for and everything I've committed to. I think Bond now in this film certainly is right back in the world that the real James Bond inhabits. It is dangerous, it's tough, it's a lot more violent, it's exciting and tense. Explain, if you can, me, to me. I have, since movie number one, waited for these things to come out, I go see them. There is, I mean, how it's 16 movies now that have been made. Why am I still <laughs> as anxious to see number 16 as I was number one? What is it that holds people in these movies? I think basically they are good stories I and mean, the formula is good. You've got good against evil, a hero uh, representing us against all that we perceive to be evil. But I think more importantly, I think Mr. Broccoli's always made films that have spared no effort to be better than the one before. Maybe they've not all succeeded in that, but there's no expense nor effort spared and the best people are always used. So they're terrific films, each one. But there are plenty of actors have tried to do larger than life you know, caricatures, mm. and there's lots of adventure films, etc. And they work once, mm. twice. Sometimes you can get three out of it. Not 16. I mean, that's an incredible mm. um, span for a, for a series of stories. Mm. Yes, it is. <laughs> and let's hope it carries on. Yeah, yeah. Um, w will there be more? If this one is successful, and we hope it will, we made this because The Living Daylights was a great success worldwide. Um, that's why we made this, and if this one is, but that's down to you, it's down to the audience, it's mm. down to everybody. Is there a time when the, when the producers get together and think, now we've got to come up with, I, I mean, you know, how many different stunts, how many different ways to do in people? Well, Are yeah, there? I mean, I suppose it's a bit like music, there's only so many notes you can play. Yeah. The interesting thing is, if you take um, any specific stunt, you've got to think of a new location for it, a new way of doing it. I thought on, uh, for example, The Living Daylights, the... Uh, the two guys fighting on the bag hanging out of a Hercules aeroplane at right. 15,000 feet. Was, we've all seen fights, but that was a new location on this movie. What we do with those trucks and what we do with that plane and helicopter at the beginning is fantastic. It really it's is. It's finding fantastic. new places and new ways to perhaps to do the same stunts. Are they fun? Oh, it's great fun. 
It really is, yeah. You're not, because yes, yeah. you you have a very serious acting background, and sometimes I wonder if, you know, if you're thinking, geez, I don't know if I should be doing this, or... Oh, no, because I love going to watch films like James Bond movies. Mm. You know, and why not, as part of a career, as part of life, as much variety as possible is best. Well, Timothy Dalton, it's no question whether it'll be a success. Everybody will go see it. Great pleasure to have you here. Would you please, before we go, do the... I love the Bond, James Bond line. Oh, you can't have that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come Sorry. on. No, 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 no. That exists only in the movie, but I think you'll catch it in the movie. Go and oh, see the movie. A few times, yes, indeed. It's there. <laughs> Thank you very much. It is now uh, six minutes before the hour. We'll be back. Friday, Dennis Quaid. Next week, Kirk Douglas.